Hi yogis, I'm going to do a vinyasa flow today and I'm going to do a ladder flow which is going to be in three parts. So if you just want to do a 50 minute flow or a 30 minute flow or a 45 minute flow, you could stop at the end of the 50 minutes. So I'll, I'll stop in child's pose um, at the end of each section. So a lot of us think, so vinyasa flow is, and the core vinyasa flow is my favourite, and a lot of us think that the core is our abdominal area, or our abdominus rectus. However, the core uh, is all the muscles that connect to our hips, our rib cage, our lumbar spine, our pelvis, and there's so many muscles. So if you can imagine, I won't go through and name them all, but we'll be doing lots of different um, exercises in this flow. Like as I said, just go nice and safely and whatever you choose to do, you can just stop when I come into child's pose. So we'll begin in child's pose, extended child's pose, knees apart at the side of the mat, big toes touching. Just see if you can sit on the heels here, take a nice big inhale, open the chest, draw the shoulders back here and just ease down into your child's pose. Resting the forehead on the mat, draw on the breath, take a nice big clearing inhale. And the exhale, just allow yourself to be nice and present on the mat. So coming into your body, and just allowing any thing that might be gone, going on in your day, just allow any thoughts to take it away. Now take another couple of clearing breaths in like this. Draw on the breath deep down into your abdomen on the next inhale. Exhale, just finding your dry breath, that little constriction at the back of the throat, that little hissing sound, helping you to really deepen into your out breath. Again, as you inhale, fill up, feel the expansion. As you exhale, I encourage you to clench your fists. We're going to do a few side planks here, so to clench your fists. And expand to your fingers. Do this two more times. Clench really hard. And you exhale, expand the fingers. Stretch them out. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Just slowly place the fingers into the mat. Draw them underneath your shoulders. Draw the knees together so you're in your tabletop position. We'll come onto the back of our hands here, fingers fa facing each other. Draw the hips over the knees, draw shoulders over the wrists. Bend the elbows slightly, clench the fists, little thumbs sticking up here. Draw the hands together a little bit closer, about an inch apart. And as you exhale, begin to straighten the arms. Feel that contraction between the shoulder blades. Begin to stretch the arms as straight as you possibly can. Keep the underside of the body engaged. Just release. We'll do that one more time. If you need to spread the fingers open here, that's perfectly fine as well. We're just giving the back of the wrist a nice stretch out. Again, as you exhale, feel the shoulder blades opening up here. Maybe clenching the fist one last time. Squeeze as hard as you can. Feel the outer side of the wrist stretching. And then as you exhale, just come onto the palms of the hands. Draw the knees, the ankles, flip, tuck the toes under, sit back on your heels. Interlace your fingers and just roll out the wrists here. It's always a good idea to keep the wrists nice and warmed up before we come into any side planks. Shake out the fingers, shake out the wrists, maybe roll the shoulders a few times. Just release any of that tension. We tend to hold, remember, behind the computer. Nice big inhale. And then coming back into your neutral tabletop position. So engaging the underside of the body. Draw the sit bones together. Lift the pelvic floor. Just try and hold on to that engagement here. And we'll take the right arm forward. Push through the left shoulder. So rather than sinking into the left shoulder, keep yourself nice and elevate and engage. Take the left leg back, flex the left foot, squeeze the left glute, engage the quad, the hamstring here, reach 
forward as you inhale, we'll take a few reps. As we exhale, crunch in. And then inhale, flex the left foot, reach forward with the right arm, push through the left shoulder. And as you exhale, tuck in again. Two more, inhale. Lengthen the neck, keep the gaze down. Exhale, we're just waking up all the muscles in the legs. Inhale, and the underside of the body. Stretch that left leg straight. Exhale. One more, inhale. Now dropping the right hand down, keeping the left leg back. Roll the left hip on top of the right. Drop the left foot down. So just plug the whole sole of the left foot into the mat. Spread the right fingers. Elevate the left arm up. Open up here. Push through that right shoulder. Be careful not to sink into the right shoulder. Take left hand behind the head, elbow pointing up to the ceiling. As you exhale, left elbow, right knee. We'll do three more reps like this. Inhale, place the right knee down. Look up at your left elbow. Exhale, tuck in here. Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale. This time as you inhale, drop the left hand, roll over the top of the left toes onto the left side of the left foot, come into Vashistasana, spread the left fingers, lengthen or extend the right arm up, keep the gaze down. We can take a few options here. If this is a bit tricky, you can have both feet resting on the mat, so you can have the inside of your right foot, outside of the left foot on the mat. Otherwise, option two, stack your feet on top or lift the top leg up. Right arm alongside, right here. As you exhale, elbow to knee. We'll do three more like this. Inhale, stretch out the right side of the body. Flex the right foot. Exhale, tuck in. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale. This time as you exhale, take the right foot forward. And drop the left leg down, tucking the tailbone, pushing the hips forward. Feel the chest opening here, lower ribs drawn in, navel drawn in. Raise your arms overhead. Sparkle the fingers, really reach up, triceps to ears. And as you exhale, release your palms down to the mat. Tuck the left toes, lift the left kneecap, engage the left quad. Draw in the inner left thigh, so you're really supporting the pelvis. Draw the right knee into the tricep shelf, top of right tricep, right heel up towards the right glute. Really open up that space between the shoulder blades. And then as you inhale, take the right knee all the way down to the outside of the right wrist. Take the gaze up slightly, open the chest, draw the shoulder blades away. Keep those left toes tucked. We'll do three more. Exhale up, taking the right knee as high as you can little tiger curl. Ooh, inhale, open. Exhale up. That's two. We've got two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, draw it up. Tuck it up as high as you can. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Step back into a high plank. We'll come through Chaturanga. Reaching forward, coming all the way down. We'll come into Cobra. Untuck your toes, point your toes, engage your quad. Lift the chest, shoulders back, gaze forward or gaze down the tip of your nose. Exhale, tuck your toes under. Maybe just coming up onto your knees and then lifting your hips high, stretching out the arms into your downward facing dog. Take a nice big clearing breath in. And exhale, lifting those hips, stretching out the arms, spreading the fingers, drawing the heels down, and then coming down onto your knees, and we'll do the other side. This time, left arm forward, stretching the right leg back. So flexing the right foot, making sure you're pushing through that right shoulder so you're not sinking into the right shoulder. Keep lifting that le left or right heel up, should I say. And as you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck in. So we'll do three more reps like this. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Ooh, inhale.
inhale. This time dropping the left hand down, untucking those left toes, roll right hip on top of left, and just place your right foot at 45, extend the right arm up, take the right hand behind the base of the head here, take the gaze up if you like actually, take your gaze up, draw back the right shoulder, and as you exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, tuck in. Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. This time take the right hand down, roll over the right top of the right toes onto the left side, Vashistasana. This time, left arm alongside left ear. Take your option, both feet can be on the mat. Or stack your feet or lift up the top right left leg. Reach here, lengthen as you inhale. And then as you exhale, elbow to knee. Three more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, now take the left foot forward, drop the right knee down, tucking the tailbone, pushing the hips forward here, drawing the lower ribs and drawing the lower navel. Feel that strength in the lower abdomen, raise your arms up ahead. And then as you exhale, release your palms to the mat. And then lift your right kneecap, push through the shoulders here. So take that left rib off the left thigh. Really pushing through, then taking your left knee to the top of the left tricep shelf, left heel to your left glute, and as you inhale, drop it all the way down. Exhale, coming into your tiger curl. Three more. Inhale, open the chest here, take the gaze up, and then as you exhale, draw up as high as you can. We'll do two more like this. Inhale, take the gaze up, keep those right toes tucked. Exhale, Whew, shave it back up. One more, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful, step back into your high plank and come through your vinyasa, reaching forward. This time come halfway down, untuck your toes, open the heart up with facing dog. Gaze is up, toes are pointed, glutes are engaged, your quads are engaged. Exhale, Ali Mudra. Beautiful, come down onto your knees. If you want to finish here, this is the first section. You can take your knees apart, big toes touching. Come down into your child's pose, take a few clearing breaths. And release side. One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, if you want to come to your Shavasana now, you can. Otherwise, come into the next section of the ladder flow. We'll come straight into a little bit more quickly now. Right arm forward, left leg back. Flex that left foot, push through the left shoulder so you're not sinking. And as you exhale, tuck in. Three more. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, tuck in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Dropping right hand down, roll left hip on top of right. Dropping the left foot down, extending left arm up. Taking left hand up behind the head. Really plug it into that left heel. Exhale, elbow to knee. So right knee, left elbow. Inhale, open up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Push, just, just really press down through the right fingers here so you're protecting the wrist. Exhale. This time, take the left hand down, roll over the left toes, Vashistasana. Take your option. Extend the right arm alongside right ear. Inhale as you lengthen, maybe lifting the top leg up. And then as you exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, 